Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my course. And in this course, I am going to teach you about logging. Okay, how we can do a logging in Databricks notebook. And this is very important concept in terms of writing a clean code or a good code in the Databricks environment or Databricks notebook, right? So if you are if you are you know building a project, so you must have used logging over there right i mean you you must use logging over there right so let's understand what is logging simple term we are storing uh, each steps uh, every execution of the notebook in some file system in some files so that in future we can go and check what went wrong and what have what has happened uh, you know when when we ran this notebook and so right so this is the you know just definition i have written recording relevant information during the execution of your program in a is a good practice as a python developer when you want to gain a better understanding of your code this practice is called logging and it is very useful tool for your programmers toolbox it can help you discover scenarios that might not have thought of while developing okay so simple term we are you know making a record of uh, the execution of the program or in this case we can say execution of the notebooks or the logic right so basically python i mean logging has like five uh, levels debug level info level uh, warning error critical so debug means these are used to give detailed information typically of interest uh, only when a diagnostic problem information these are used to confirm that things are working as expected warning means you can know these are used as an indication that something unexpected happened error means when something got failed or we have some problems critical this tells serious errors indicating that the program itself may be unable to continue running now this is all the functions and so i have written over here right and in every logging program at the end we have to use logging dot shutdown okay make sure to use this what does it do is that it informs the logging system to perform an ordinary shutdown by flushing and closing all handlers okay and this should be called at application exist and no further use of logging system should be made after this call right okay um, let me write a code okay so what i will do so here what i have done i have copied the code and uh, i am i am using here import logging import time import date time and then i am using file date this is the function i have uh, used over here now why because this notebook will run every day okay so for every day i am making i am creating a, a a file right uh, so this is the directory you know this is the uh, a file name you can say custom log plus file date so maybe today's date right with timestamp and dot log and, and this is the complete file name then i am using this logging dot get logger and i am using log 4j over here right now i am setting a level called error <coughs> so i will not do that first of all i will do debug level so debug level means it will keep all the information detailed information right so that's why i am using here debug level and then what i am using i am using logging dot file handler okay p log file the file name which i have provided the path i i meant to say and the mode so mode can be w means write or overwrite i can put here a for sorry small a for append right so for now i am just gonna uh, do here w which means overwrite the uh, data right and uh, this is formatter i am using logging dot formatter and then i am using this you can change it according to your need and again the set formatter the formatter which i have used over here which i defined over here and then logger dot add hand handler so the this object fh which i have used over here so see basically you do not need to un i mean see just copy this code and this code will remain same for 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 all the uh, stuff right so um, for all the uh, uh, code and so now what i'm going to do is that let's say i am going to create a uh, let's say i'm going to i have to read a file 
okay so first of all let me create a data right first let me create a uh, no no now you can assume that hey our task is to create a data frame first right so for that i will create a data right so data is like one saga something like this and let's say to alex correct and here i will make a schema so id integer and name a string something like this i will put over here correct oh put over here nice now i am going to create spark dot create data frame data comma schema this is the data frame now i am saying uh, you can say you can assume that you know i am i am going to i am going to uh, i have to do some operation over here what operation i want to add some column name over here so let's say uh, add underscore new underscore new id add id something like this i am adding and i am just putting here like this one okay maybe you know i am doing something and i am assigning this into into this df like this uh oh, let it be this now if i run this it will fail right because i because i have to put over here a lit function lit function but i have just mentioned like this i wanted to make it fail so now you can say that hey i have run this notebook and it got uh, failed and maybe i will go again and i will fix it and i will you know do the things uh then i mean you know uh, the notebook then will start learning it properly but you know what if if it is you know if it is failing daily and we are not get we are not understanding hey what is the issue over here right because we are not saving this log like this issue this issue i am not saving anywhere right this is the problem so we should actually save save this log save this errors or these kind of information into some file system so that we can go and back check what is the reason why we did not get the correct data and so so kind of thing you know you can assume it in a in a in a, in a bigger level right so this this is the reason now i will try to write a code in a different way so what i will do see i will copy the same stuff whatever it is there okay so uh this is what this right so here i can say we have logger dot info okay and i can say here uh data frame is started making started defining something like this i have given a message okay now once it is done once we got the schema so i will write data frame is data frame df is created successfully something like this correct very good now now what i'm going to do is that uh once it is done now this is the logic right here i i i know that hey this can be failed so i can put here to i right df is equal to df dot with and this is accept exception as err err it's it's okay and here i can put logger dot uh, logger dot or uh, error and i can say uh, i can put here err also right this error i can pass it over here and ding 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 done right now what if if i run this you can see it created a data frame but it did not have this add underscore id because it failed over here and and it passed to this uh, exception and it the exception has been cached over here logger dot you know in this now if you know that hey what we have done we have created a kind of uh, hey we did not run it here hmm now you can see we have this df uh, dfs this is the file name right 
now I have to actually run it again sorry my bad because I ran it before so it taken that one only now what if if I write here uh, df1 is equal to spark dot read dot txt it failed I have to write here file like this file colon and this now you will see it returns me this information like data frame is started defining at what time at this time then at this time it is df is created but at this time uh, argument call should should be column got in the same error which we have received over here so we have logged in we have saved in somewhere right now uh, okay correct uh, very good now what uh, maybe you might be asking the question hey saga what if if i want to save these logs into a adrs gen 2 then you can do it create a mount point and do it or else what you can do you can save this you can save this uh, uh, you you can copy this file into the uh, blob storage using dbutils.fs.copy cp command right so i hope that you are aware about it and i have already taught you uh, very good now see uh, i have used here debug level that's why it has it is it is returning like all the informations right what if if i what if if i put here error level something like this then this file name has been changed right and dug -dug -dug -dug. now you will see we will have only the error messages over here see this is error message i only have it right so this is the uh, this is the thing like you can explore uh, right like what is warning what if if i kept here warning what if if i kept here error and so and at the end what we discussed that hey put logging logging dot shutdown okay now uh, there is there is multiple things you can edit over here like you can pass the notebook path uh, notebook name you can pass it like there is some function over here right which which gives you the uh, which 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 gives you the notebook name right so that you know how you will understand which notebook is failed right so you can pass the path or you can you you, you can you know pass you can get the notebook name automatically by writing some commands over here so let me write it down for you okay so this is the command you know uh, this is the uh, formula i can say you can use this formula and you can pass the notebook name here over here like this logger dot uh, you know logger uh, dot info is okay it's it should be like this is being used is being used something like this you can you can you know you can put it over here so that you can understand which notebook which file path which whatever uh, components or object is being used uh, right so now how it how easy it is you can assume that you know you are writing you are uh, playing with a lot of notebooks and some notebooks are getting filled so you can idly identify it right this is a very important topic you know go and explore it and implement in your uh, company's uh, uh, you know company's uh, project so that you will do something better over there right so thank you bye bye and if you have liked this video go and check out my course which is databricks course i have already launched it over in my website you can find out the link in the description box or in the i button go and check it out if you're interested so thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture